Hey guys, Chris here. Just going to show you how to get Vagrant set up uh, first. VagrantUp.com is where you want to be. Click on Downloads and then just download the install package that you need for whatever operating system you're on. For me, it's OS X. Uh, let's check out getting a, a box for Vagrant. So atlas.hashicorp.com or hashicorp. Anyhow, click on Vagrant Boxes. I'm doing OpenBSD here and I'm downloading 5.7 uh, well I'm getting the code to initialize the 5.7 box uh, I've already done the vagrant install of course so I run this command uh, normally if I hadn't already this box installed that would download but all I have to do now once I've downloaded it vagrant up and it'll start actually loading the box so just waiting for this VM to load. Here it is, uh, Vagrant SSH to get into the box. And what I like to always do is set up a, uh, a profile alias. So PROF is usually what I use. Uh, so I just opened uh, the profile. Uh, so now to get here in the future, all I have to type is PROF, P-R-O-F. I'm going to reset the profile and here I am so in case I ever need to make configurations I could do so easily I'm gonna add a user because um, what you'll like to do normally in vagrant is if you're working on a project in PHP storm or you know whatever ID you use you want to sync your project to your vagrant box so you have to create a user um, you don't have to create a user, you could use this default user and specify the rsync uh, directories. I'm creating FTP boy. Um, so I had to delete the user because I didn't specify the dash m um, directive, which would actually create the FTP boy directory inside of the home directory. So setting up the password using sudo. Um, Okay, setting this password, and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna exit once this password is set. Just getting uh, this rsync code ready. Um, I don't have this in text memorized, so I pasted it into a text uh, edit. Okay, I'm using Python, uh, PyCharm by uh, JetBrains. Um, to sync a SOPL bot, uh, it's an IRC bot, to this Vagrant installation. So, just letting you guys see that I actually have a, um, a project here on my local OS X machine. I'm going to exit this box, uh, this Vagrant box. I'm going to now edit the Vagrant file. Every uh, Vagrant box you create has a default Vagrant file in the directory use you Vagrant up or Vagrant initialize into. So um, I'm just going to go down to the rsync portion. Well, as you can see, I just I just copied and pasted this portion. Um, create true, it'll create this directory if it's not already created. Okay, so I'm going to Vagrant up and watch what it actually does. What it's going to do at the very last, uh, I had to do a Vagrant reset, um, Vagrant reload. I'm sorry, no, no, no. Uh, the command is actually Vagrant, um, not destroy. Yeah, it's Vagrant Reload. Okay, so while that's reloading, um, now when we go back into our box, when we SSH back in, you see the SOPL directory is there. The reload actually does what it, what the name sounds like. It, um, it powers off and powers on. Anyways, this is Chris. Hope this helps.